This is Jules. Jules is uh, an unbelievable trainer here at Iron Fitness. And I've heard a few rumors about her, about her skills, about what she's been doing and where she's come from with all this. Girls, these three pound weights are not enough. And so, uh, you can lean against the wall if you want. Okay. Okay, so how do, you, how do you end up here? I mean, where are you from originally? Originally from Oregon. Yep. Um, went to Oregon State University and studied exercise and sports science. Okay, so you, you have a degree in sports science mm -hmm. as well. Cool. Yeah. As a personal trainer, what's your favorite type of shark? Shark? Shark. Great white? Great white. Yeah. Cool. Nice. I've always wanted to go cage diving. My sessions with each one of my clients, like that is my opportunity to influence their life in a positive way. So no matter how crappy I'm feeling, if I'm tired, I'm sore, I'm sick, whatever, I'm going to go into that session with a positive attitude no matter what. Mm. Um, how do you do that? Do you, like, do you spend a minute? It's just a mindset thing. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to turn it on. Um, and I think like that, beast mode. Yeah, exactly. Has a client ever farted during a session? Not that I've noticed. During Scratch that. I have had athletes fart. Oh, really? Big, time. big, big football players. Yes, absolutely. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they do not care. On that note, what what do you recommend for eating? Oh, I am. I mean, eat clean. Yeah. Just as you can. <laughs> I love. I love. I love so much when people do this because I do it all the time as well. Well, I feel like it's kind of like functional training. It's one of those terms that is being kind of like thrown out there and kind of getting washed out. Like the real meaning behind it, you know? Yeah. Do you eat bread? Uh, I don't because no. I, I, I don't have celiacs, but I'm gluten intolerant. Mm. So I try to steer clear of it because mm. it definitely gives me bubble gut, what I call that. Bubble gut. Yeah. That's such <laughs> a beautiful I, way of describing yeah, it. That's exactly how it feels. Yeah. Um, but as unprocessed as possible. Periodization, so just describe that, how important that is and what it is. I like to say our bodies are the masters of adaptation. Mm. So if you are throwing the same stimulus at your body uh, for too long, it's gonna start figuring it out and it won't change anymore. That's mm. when people start hitting plateaus and that kind of thing. So you have to be constantly changing it, giving your body a new stimulus in order for it to have something. They're coming for you. <laughs> in order for it to have, um, you know, something to challenge it. Typically, most of my programs will last anywhere from um, two weeks to four weeks. Okay. Every now and then, maybe a six week program. Have you fought in front of a client before? I don't think I have. No. No. You never like a, a secret one out just in. It wouldn't be intentional, that's for sure. No. Maybe during a, a, a squat or something. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you've got three minutes, okay, and the world's going to end. Okay. And you have to train. Like you just have all you have to do, all you've got to do is train. Okay. You're not allowed to do anything else. Okay. What, what are you doing in those three minutes? Oh, legs. What are you doing? What exercise? Uh, hip thrusts. Hip thrusts. The most underrated exercise? Hmm. I have a couple. Okay. Pull ups. Pull ups? Uh, yeah. Interesting. Men and women? Yes, both. Especially men get very focused on bench press. Mm, they get great big tits, don't they? Yes, they want to have a big bench and have nice arms, and they forget about the backside. One that I don't think get enough gets enough love at all is the Turkish getup. Turkish getup. Yeah. Why that one? So think about Olympic lifting is kind of like total body explosiveness, right? Mm -hmm. I think of the Turkish getup as total body stability. How you biceps? Awesome. Yeah. Ah. What is your advice to a beginner, someone who's like never worked out, and it's like just to give them something to sort of say, you know, start? Well, my number one thing would be don't try to take on too much too soon. Okay. Because you're making a life change, and it's not going to happen overnight. Mm. And if you try to tackle nutrition and drinking more water and getting more sleep and working out five days a week, it's not going to happen. Okay. Overwhelming. Yes. Uh, get comfortable in the weight room because lifting has to be a priority. Man and woman? Yes, absolutely. Girls, these three pound weights are not enough. Three, two, one. Pre-workouts, interval? Uh, 
Well, I do, for myself, I do a B12 supplement, which is kind of like a natural energy booster. Um, Interesting, I, B12? I, I do branch chain amino acids, uh, pre, post, and during. Ooh. Um, and then I just drink green tea for, again, another kind of natural energy boost. Good. Well, do we care whether the cows were raised and how that? Yeah, yeah. I definitely look into that kind of stuff when I'm looking into the, the different proteins. Guys, top tip for guys. Um, I would say for guys, don't forget your back and your lower body. Back and that's an awesome tip. Yes. Too many biceps and chest exactly, workouts. Exactly, exactly. Girls, top tip for girls. Uh, girls, don't be afraid to lift heavy. Ooh. Glutes workout, what was that? Oh, number one glute exercise is hip thrusts, barbell hip thrusts. Barbell hip thrusts, they yep. recruit the most fibers. Yep. Uh, and your philosophy for nutrition? Um, I say all natural, unprocessed as much as you can. So if it wants walk, swam, or grew from the ground, you're good to go. Solid. Thank you so much. You're so welcome.